when you think of styles of hip hop, braggadocio, gangsta, and conscious hip hop might come to mind. But what about art rap? Art rap is a style of hip hop Open Mike Eagle has embraced throughout his entire career. The first thing you need to know about Mike to understand the style of rap is this. He loves the band They Might Be Giants. I will talk about them all day, all day. They Might Be Giants is a weirdo art rock band from Brooklyn formed in 1982. They've released 19 studio albums, including a handful for kids. Mike Eagle is a hip hop artist born in 1980. He's from the south side of Chicago. I went to school in the projects and um, yeah, that, was, that, was, that wasn't always an easy conversation to have with people. I used to lie about it a lot. When Mike was about nine years old, he heard Birdhouse in Your Soul for the very first time. Musically, that song is just thrilling to me. Birdhouse in Your Soul is a song about a nightlight. It changes keys 18 times in three minutes. You can hear in the end by the light switch. Who watches over you? Make a little birdhouse in your soul. Not if you ever listen to their songs, the feeling of a lot of them is very happy, jovial, high energy. Uh, but if you ever read the lyrics, they're saying some fucked up shit. One of Mike's favorite verses comes from the song, Where Your Eyes Don't Go. And it's where your eyes don't go, a filthy scarecrow waves his broomstick arms and does a parody of each unconscious thing you do. And when you turn around to look, it's gone behind you on its face. It's wearing your confused expression, where your eyes don't go. And that to me is like, that's, that's, that's just perfect. <laughs> like, that's just perfect. Mike's childhood obsession with They Might Be Giants can really be felt in his music. Uh -huh. My antenna spans killing. Uh -huh. I'm all full of data like a Spider-Man villain. Yeah. yeah, I'm part flesh and part energy. The last text I sent you was from the heart, literally. I was inducted into the hip-hop tradition in the south side of Chicago. And what that meant was that the style of the t the that time space was this punchline style. One, two, we got juice from Chicago and yeah. town. Cause I'm Mac Wright, attract light like photosynthesis. Rappers is whack as hell and I'ma put it in parenthesis. No pause or comma, cause I'ma keep you fearing this. You got a question mark? I'm the nigga here, period. <laughs> Mike has turned the whimsical and dark style of They Might Be Giants and the punchliney style of Chicago hip hop into a really special style of rap. On his latest album, he's managed to turn really serious topics like addiction and racism into pointed and humorous verses. Hey, I saw a lady say hi to a stranger, then avoid my eyes like I'm a white person strangler. Walking past voters in the democratic blocks that hit the windows and the automatic locks. If not, reparations give me free black therapy and tell people you're scared of them and make some acts scary. A lot of the ideas, these premises, they came from like these really vulnerable places. So if I say something heavy in a way that makes me chuckle, then I it, feel, it makes me feel better about saying it. The final song I'll leave you with is haunting and beautiful. The beat is uplifting, but the lyrics are dark. We've gone too far. We don't want to go back home. We don't like to see each other. It's literally in my mind, it's about a group of people who all go to this dive bar because they don't want to go in, like they don't want to go home. It runs counter to the idea of a support group is typically that's about people trying to be sober.